Hello. Today we're in chapters 7, 8, and 9. We're getting into the plagues. Uh, chapter 7, uh, Aaron is going in as the spokesman now. And the way the Lord puts that is he says that I have made you as a god before the Egyptians. Obviously, he's not talking about large G God, uh, but something along the line of their gods because of the miraculous things that he can do uh, and, the, and the way he talks and everything. And he says, and I have made Aaron your prophet. So Aaron's going to be speaking for you. And they go in and they use the three signs that uh, they've given with the staff and the leprosy and everything. And it doesn't uh, impress anybody. Uh, the Egyptian uh, magicians apparently can do very similar things. And so uh, Pharaoh won't let anybody go uh, based on that. So it brings on uh, the very first uh, uh, plague, which is going to be the plague of uh, blood, uh, turning the river into blood, the Nile River into blood. And then it gets into uh, chapter 8, and in chapter 8, we have the plague of the frogs, and we have the plague of the gnats, and then uh, also we have the plague of the flies, and then we get to chapter 9, and we have the plague of the livestock, and the plague of the hail. So uh, we're moving pretty quickly through the 10 plagues at this point in time. So things are getting progressively worse. Uh, Pharaoh continues to have his heart hardened. Uh, pay attention uh, as you look at each one of these to when it says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart and when it says that Pharaoh hardened Pharaoh's heart, uh, because both things are going on at the same time. And think a little bit about that. Uh, one commentator made a comment that was very similar, simple. Uh, I don't know whether it totally applies. I'm not sure I completely agree with everything it implies. Uh, but it says that the same sun can soften uh, wax and harden clay. So the same actions, depending on the state of the heart, whether you have a heart that's ready to be softened or a heart that's ready to be hardened, uh, what God does to it can, uh, can impact it both ways, even though what he's doing is exactly the same thing. So think about that. Look at the number of times that God hardens Pharaoh's heart and, and uh, Pharaoh hardens Pharaoh's heart. Enjoy, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a good day.